So let's get started with creating bots in ChatLayer. Open up the platform and the first thing that you will see is the possibility to add a new bot. So let's do that right now. If you click the add bot button, you can then define the name of your chatbot. This is not something that customers will see, so you can choose an internal name or a temporary name. You can always change it afterwards. Don't worry too much about that. The next thing you can choose is the primary language. And the primary language is the main language that your bot building team speaks and will work in in developing the bot. Typically, this is the language that is shared by all the bot building team members. The last thing you can do here is select the extra languages. And the extra languages are additional languages that your customers can speak to the bot. Chatlayer supports over 125 different languages for you to choose from. Click create and let's get started. Let's start by trying out our bot. The first thing we see is that the introduction message hasn't been configured yet. So let's make sure it matches our bot project. To configure the introduction message, let's go to bot dialogs, which is in the left-hand menu of your screen. After clicking on bot dialogs, you can open a flow. In this case, the introduction message will be in the general flow. Click on the little green icon to open it. Next, we get an overview of all of the default bot dialogues, as they're called, which are small messages, small components of your flow that can be built. Um, and we get seven of these by default. So the one that we are interested in right now is the introduction. Zoom in to the introduction bot dialog and click on the pencil icon to configure it. Select the introduction message and change it to something that fits your use case. In this example, we're building a bot that, does a, that knows a lot about trains. So we need to have a message that fits that use case. The message that we configured is, hello there, my name is Choo Choo, a digital assistant that will keep you on track. That's not enough, however. We want to add an additional message. So to do that, we're gonna click on the add bot message and then text which will allow us to write an additional text message underneath the one that we've already written. And in that additional text message, we're going to write, how can I help you today? Yes. Click the save button to save your newly created introduction message. Now click on clear conversation to restart your conversation. We can see the newly configured introduction message in all of its glory. Humans don't always say the exact same thing a lot of times, right? We, we vary our sentences a little bit. So we want bots to be able to do the same thing. To do that, we're gonna open the introduction bot dialog again by clicking the pencil icon and then clicking on the button, add random message. You can add random messages in your bot messages to make it feel more human and add some variation. 